Hey, what's up, guys? This is Game Traders. Yes, yes, I know. I know a lot of people are, you know, messing with me on Game Traders, inboxing me that why you stop making videos. And the reason why I stopped making videos last week because I was busy and I was sick and had a flu. So I have a flu. So that's why I stopped making videos last week. So basically, I'm gonna start doing a video again. Now, for the witness, I'm not playing that game because A, the game is boring, and B, it's not a type of game I'm gonna do, um, finish. That's why I torrent the game. Now, a lot of people, uh, some people ask me, why do you torrent PC game? You have to support the developer. The reason why I torrent games sometimes because these type of games are poorly optimized. Now I have a gaming PC, but right now my gaming laptop is in shop right now because the screen is broken. So I'm trying to I'm fixing it right now. So everything gonna finish repair approximately next month or the, yeah next month. And when I get my new um, my gaming PC fixed, my laptop I'm gonna do a walkthrough of Dark Souls Three in April. Now I promise that. So yes, that's why I'm using this crappy computer. Now taking this computer here, I'm using it's not that bad, but it's not good for gaming. It's, um, it's an Intel HD, you know, four thousand laptop. What's good RAM? Six gig of RAM, and the processor is the CPU is two point four gigahertz. I think it's two cores. Yes, it's two cores. I three, and it's a seventeen inch monitor. So basically, you can run decent games, but you can't really run like games like Battlefield and Star Wars. But you can run decent games like this game I'm right now, right now, going to play is Firewatch. Firewatch is basically a game that I was looking forward to. Now, you know, I can't play the game uh, right on the on the, my piece of computer. I had my you know laptop but my game laptop so I have to play on this game um, this laptop so today I torrent the game yes I torrent it there's a reason why but don't, don't worry I'm going to buy the game next week but I'm going to torrent the game and I played the first five minutes and I was impressed of this game this game is really good but I'm going to give you a note I'm not going to do any commentaries on this game because it's a story game so the only note I'm going to give to you is that the resolution the resolution is very low I says again you can't really run hold on you can't really run uh into HD 4000 games on these type of games now I was surprised this game was really optimized as well so it's running on this resolution I know people are gonna say oh haha -ha, you can't afford a gaming PC I have a gaming PC but the screen the no, my laptop broke so the screen is broken. So I'm fixing the screen right now. Don't worry. If y'all see me playing Dark Souls 3, of course, tech, you can't play Dark Souls 3 on this computer. That means I'm telling the truth. All right. I have a Wii U and a PC. That's it. I don't have PS4 and don't have an Xbox One. Now, this game is on the PS4, none of the Xbox One, none of the Wii U's, and it's on the PC. So I was looking for this game. I tore the game. And I played the first five minutes, and you know what? I like it, so I'm gonna buy it next week. So let's play the game on this revolution. Now nah, I was planning to play on this. It gives me a steady frame rate. Well, all right, fine. I play it on this. It doesn't make a difference. Yes, it's kind of ugly, but you know you gotta you gotta blame me. You, you, you know I don't have my gaming laptop right now. All right, guys. You know subscribe. I know a lot of people are subscribing. And let's play the game. It's a two or three hour game. I might beat it right now. I'm going to beat it right now. And I'm going to do my review on Friday. And do I recommend it or I don't recommend it. So let's play the game on this revolution. And don't troll me on the comment section that said that my PC is crap. It is crap. My real PC is broken. My laptop. So it's, it's fixing. The screen is broken. So it's fixing right now. So let's play this.
Okay, so I might change the resolution, but let's find out the frame rate because I don't. If I if I record this, um, I think we'll have a half a screen. Let's find out a really good resolution. At least could run on 30 frames a second. So this is four by three. Um, no, that's too low. See, I could run on. You know what? I'm gonna run on this. Yeah. I'm going to do the um, frame rate. Okay, the frame rate is pretty good. So, let's find out the whole game frame rate. Currently, the game is running on 30 frames a second, so... It's pretty good on uh, a bad laptop I'm playing so far, but uh, you know what? Hey, this is what happened. I saw down my laptop on down the stairs. Yeah, that's why my gaming laptop is broken. So that's what happened, people. Had a fight with somebody. I take the laptop. I say fuck you, and show down the damn stairs to break the damn screen. And that's why I have to use this laptop. So hey, all right, guys. Enjoy the game. It's a really cool game. The, the, the game is very beautiful. I hope you guys like it. It's a whole walkthrough of this game. It's, I, I think it's four hours. So this is the first hour, then the second hour. I'm gonna up the whole four hours and then review the game. And you should buy it on your PS4 or PC. Remember, it's on PS4 and the PC. Not on Xbox One. It's not on the Wii U. And I know some of you guys have a Wii U my subscriber base but bear with me it's not on the wheel i wish it was but any day it's on the ps4 and pc do you need a powerful computer to run this no i'm using a crappy computer right now you know you can use an intel hd 4000 but you have to at least have a six at least six gigabytes if you're 204 not really can't run it and plus you will have to have a great cpu and, and you have to update your drivers. The only way you can keep a you know, steady frame rate. And, you know, but if you have a gaming PC like laptop, like a NVIDIA 970 mobile or a really, you know, great GPU, you can run this on, you know, of course, 4K. That's all I have, but hey, you know, it, you don't need a powerful computer to run this. All right, guys, enjoy the video. I mean, the game.
Okay, I'm gonna change the resolution right now. I'm gonna show you how the game looks like in a really good resolution. Cause I know people are gonna ask me how beautiful the game is. Um, let's see. I don't wanna max it out. All right, I go to 900p. See, I will go here, but you're gonna run like shit. See, that's the resolution. Now let's. You know what? The frame rate is not bad, so let's play with this for a minute. Ah, this is a tough decision. Hmm, I'm gonna choose... Man, this is a tough decision. So I'm gonna choose... So this game is about different choices. Like, if you make different, you know, choices, the story changes. So that's how the game is. I like, I like... See, personally, I don't like these type of games, but I like this game more than some of these garbage games on Steam. This is a really cool concept, but to my opinion, I think this is probably one of the best games I've played this year. You know, besides XCOM 2, but I never play XCOM 2 right now because my computer, this computer can run it. So when I get my computer fixed, I definitely play XCOM 2. Now that's the real game of the year, but this game is very interesting. I like the story so far with Julia and him, but let's see how the story works so right now i'm going to say don't take the job because i want him and julia to you know get close together because she's going to connecticut he he doesn't know what's going to happen to her remember he's overprotective of her because in, in the first beginning of the story you realize that he might hurt her because when, he, when she went to when she, when she went um, home late you know that he is he won't get angry on her or he will ignore her so i like these type of games that you know choose different stories you know choose different choices and you know and the story change so i'm going to say convince her not to take the job and that's how to see the story back you know how to see the story played out
Alright, so I'm gonna change the resolution because the frame rate is really, really bad. So, hey. So, let's change the resolution and my computer's getting hot. So, let's change the resolution to 10 this. You know what? Yeah, this. Let's, uh, Alright, that doesn't make a difference, so let's change the resolution. I'm sorry, folks. I have to. I remember, I don't have a computer. I really want to play this game, that's why. I think the game is really interesting. Alright, so. Alright. Yeah, you know what? Let's change it. It's a walking simulator, so. It really doesn't make a difference. So, I leave the graphics thing is off. Some uh, turn be. Yeah. Two Forks Tower. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? 
People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? What? I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Seriously, are you seeing this? Henry? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Do you think you can handle that? Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. Shut up.
This vista is incredible. <laughs> Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. There's a canyon and then the rest of, well, everything. Yeah, you should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> and maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer.
Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. Ugh, people are just the worst, aren't they? They're not great, no. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? There's a... Uh, ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know... Two? Yeah. I hey, hey, you fucking kids! Goal stereo! Whoa, hey, put that down! Seriously, it was expensive! Fucking cool it with the fireworks! Please just put it down! We won't light anymore! Ugh, this guy's creepy, Chelsea. Ha! <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick! Chelsea? It's my boombox! Can we go? L let's just run to the other side of the lake or something! You're totally. You're gross! You're just some sad man out in the woods. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes spying on us? Give him a break, Lily. He probably hasn't seen boobs in 20 years. <laughs> He's probably still a virgin. Yeah, that's fun. Hey, that go okay? I hope they drown. I don't think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. Just gonna go ahead and not log that as a threat? Thanks. But seriously though, thanks for dealing with it.
have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. <laughs>